The new one that looks like a PS4 controller with a body kit. It, it looks like something my old, your older brother gives you <laughs> to like, oh yeah, you're totally player two. And welcome back to Linux Gamecast Weekly. Should give us the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin Stone here at LGC Axel Switch in the Bits, doing the Nightmare Fuel all under Linux, joined by our soon to be departed Matt up north. He's just going to depart like adjacent, like over there. I'm I'm go- I'm going to uh, the the land of the elves. I, I'm spacing on the name right now. <laughs> yes, that that brilliant place and that brilliant face is Jordan <laughs> Spong and Pedro Tiny Tesla Coil Mateus staying up late in Britannia. Look at that. Z- Hello. Uh, <laughs> if that would only explode, my dreams would come true. <laughs> and you, you beautiful miscreants, joining us live, Shet Rum Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. I have a graphic for that, I swear. I just got to turn it into like something more presentable. What's up, beautiful people? What's new in your lives, man? I know I've been playing around with a bunch of new stuff. Uh, one thing I do want to say, if you run the Debian, like the source, I know a lot of you are running the uh, Ubuntu's and you're running the Pops. But if you like to run the pure stuff without any interference, the, uh, the, the uncut, yeah, uncut, <laughs> uncut Bogota Linux, straight out of, yeah, pretty much, man. Uh, j- 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 just start doing lines of Linux off the bathroom floor. It's brilliant. Five ten. Uh, <laughs> check it out though. Code freeze for Bullseye. So if you want something that is really good to test, really current, uh install debian bullseye right now now there's still going to be some updates in the future but it's to the point where you can no longer consider it like testing you're not doing an apt update in like 95 packages you might get four so it's serviceable everything in the studio is currently running bullseye it's nice and smooth i'm sure i'll eat the words like tomorrow morning for <laughs> colonel panic right, <laughs> and right now that. another thing that happened i posted this i posted it in our discord first but a bit later i'm like i just want to share the story i get an email from amazon I'm like all right what's this about luna first thought the hell's luna my I dog read it google it I'm like oh i got early invite to the amazon game streaming service okay this is a thing yay <laughs> Forgot about it, went did other stuff, and came back. I was bored enough to, like, let's, let's set this up. I want to try it because I tested Google Play like two or three years ago um, with the Odyssey game. And I was on one of the early teams that did that. And I was like, I, I, I want to play around with this. Let's just see how wonderful web browsers play video games through Amazon. <laughs> set everything up, click the thing, it syncs my account. And it's like, all right, are you ready? I'm like, sure. And Amazon, I'll test your thing for you. But, um, that's going to be five nine or nine. Get fucked, yeah. Amazon. Seriously. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to Amazon Early Access, right? Like, uh, it, it was that with. Oh, and we also have like this extra plan if you want to link like Ubisoft for like fifteen dollars a month to test or serve Amazon. You're not test like girlfriend. That that not not going to pay to test. <sighs> What's new with you, Jordan? Outside of like the, it, it's so dangerous. I'm waiting for like that tile to fall. Other side, mm-hmm. yeah. other side. Yeah, I, I see it. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> are you happy, then? Not really. Are you <laughs> good? <laughs> Suffer. Suffer and burn. No, nothing. Nothing's really going on, right? Like it's just a bunch of low grade stress, trying to get shit ready to move, work mm-hmm. stuff. Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to like keep saying at this point, still, still, still on my Pokemon bullshit. I lost my Zubat. That's more, 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 more Nuzlocke carnage. Is that Watch a bad that. thing or a good thing? That's a bad thing. Okay. That, 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 that was my linchpin for the next two gyms. And now, now I'm less screwed. <laughs> so I have, I have a magic. Now you're going to cry. <laughs> I, I have a, I have a magic car, Pedro. So. <laughs> I would love to be it there. To tackle. Go check out Jordan's streams. <laughs> He's got his uh on his Twitch channel on Fridays. Uh, I guy I can't handle the Pokemans. Even they were doing the ESA big charity thing, and I've been 
tuning into that uh, during the workday. And I hit that they were doing Pokemon. And I was like, I just can't do it. Yeah. Uh, uh, honestly, my, my reason behind Pokemon is the game I selected for streaming is A, this is the first game I'm going to stream in its entirety on Twitch. Uh-huh. And B, it's something I can do like with that. Like Metal Gear Solid, I have to pay attention to or else I'm just going to get murdered. With Pokemon, I can kind of, the rules are ingrained in my brain enough that I can like talk. And that's kind of the point is to uh-huh. practice running streams on my own. And yeah. Yeah, All right. and dick around with netjack so that's, well, that seems to be working yeah you get to learn new things and uh as always in these trying times because uh, jordan's default setting right now is like i'm present <laughs> he's got a lot of shit I'm, going on i'm i'm i'm, I'm hanging on baby right. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone give him a little round of applause pedro what's new with you outside of just wrecking controllers and building tesla coils uh, well, that those were the two major ones this week. I don't even have the controller here anymore. I don't think I tossed it just yet, but yeah. Uh, the controller, as you may have seen if you were watching the stream on Tuesday, a uh, controller I was using, the 8-bit do uh, SNES Pro, died. Oh. It was already like the analog sticks had some drift to them, especially the left one. And the, I started the stream by saying, okay, this is a thing that happens, so... Yeah, though, if my character starts herky jerking while it's racing, uh, while it's running, or um, just starts moving on his own, that that's why. Here's a real question: but, Is because um, you're playing that in Proton, right? Right. Yes. EA, it's in the game. Can you not swap controllers after it's started? Uh, supposedly you can, but it has to be X input because uh, the Steam overlay doesn't work, and it doesn't seem to recognize either the Dual Shock or the Dual Sense. So you weren't running Wayland, so it was X input. N- n- no, <laughs> so I, I, yeah. I, I mean X did you try the Ariola controller. Uh, that uh, works in basic X input mode, yes, uh, but uh, you really do need Steam input, and that was a problem because Steam input requires that the overlay be active. It's loaded at the same time, so if the overlay doesn't work because, say, I don't know, the origin overlay is getting in the way, ah. tough. You're not even getting Steam input with that. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, but uh, later on I will uh, need to throw out a a big, big thank you to Darkwing, who, well, basically fixed my controller situation. <laughs> Fix. Yeah. I mean, hey, at least you could do something about the it gave controllers. Gave me a challenge. Unlike the horse. <laughs> I mean, the, the horse is plenty challenging, right? Like, you have to get around it, and it expands, and you try to get over it, and it rises. And then you try to eat it, and then you just get horrible, the horrible horse diarrhea. Rises like yeast. <laughs> The horse, the, the Dark Horse Rises is our brand new Christopher Nolan-esque Linux game cast. Steam! Linux! Update! Update of the week. Week. Oh man, Steam developer gets banned for very positive review trickery. Oh no, Steam UI made it hard to tell if very positive games had very positive reviews. This comes from Ars Technica, uh, like the next story. Yeah, spoilers, but... Take a look at the screenshot. I saw this making the rounds like maybe two weeks ago. I might have posted about it on Twitter too. Now, what we're looking at is where you see like all reviews, you see positive, then you see release date, then you see the developer. And uh, this this suave, enterprising young human being changed the developer <laughs> name to very positive and the publisher very positive. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's the old American beef <laughs> brand hot dogs goof right like yeah it's it's to- it's totally quality games no the company's called quality we don't not for any sort of quality <laughs> <laughs> but no that was that, that was uh that was very clever very clever indeed and the uh dude actually had an interview and he says people don't really pay attention you just see something and you don't really read is that a review or is that like the developer and publisher field so by naming it very positive and having both of those as showing as very positive, it would be like recent reviews and all time average, like games on Linux, uh, games on Steam do. And yeah, Valve apparently was totally okay with it right up until all of the articles started showing up about it. And then yeah. Valve nuked them as they do. I'm going to put it to you like this, man. I'm going to go with goof 100% on this as opposed to trick or deception because it wasn't exactly convincing. And you know what? I don't think anybody thought it was because I'm going to assume you at home 
or a normal human being who looks at reviews by scrolling down to the bottom and sorting by negative. Yeah. A normal person. <laughs> well, it, 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 it's interesting because it, it really reminded me of like the, the sort of psychology behind the Nigerian 419 scams where they like they're misspelled and whatnot because they're self-selecting, right? Like the people who fall for them aren't the people who can actually like read this and identify that this is the trick. So if it, it, it's, it's, it's a classic for a reason, man. You can't blame the guy for trying. No, but you can't say the same about Apple. Though, can you? No. I, I mean, I can't, I can't blame them for trying. I can still be mad at them. <laughs> well, uh, mad or not, Valve uh, is apparently also getting dragged into Apple's and Epic's legal fight. So you may remember that. Uh, that uh, is Epic's, a lazy Photoshop, SARS. It is. I've seen, I've seen enough hentai to know where that's going. Right. I'm just saying. But yeah, you may remember how uh, Epic uh, sued Apple after they started offering microtransactions in direct contravention of the uh, App Store. Uh terms of service which uh, state that if you are going to offer payments you need to go through apple pay if not well you're it's it's a breach and your app gets removed that's what happened with fortnite and then of course epic was seeing that coming so they sued apple they also sued google uh and now apple in that very same court case has decided to call uh for valve's sales data their uh, revenue, all of the games that they have on the store, then games that were on the store at one point but are not there anymore, uh, how much they cost over time, basically everything that Valve has been kept, you know, uh, has been keeping oh, under wraps. It's 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 everything involved with like running an online digital distribution service right like they they want the full list of applications financial reports for them etc cetera, etc cetera. i think the idea here is apple's trying to construct a case of like oh there's no antitrust because you know you can go to steam uh and steam has a broad market we're not the only competitors when it comes to iPhones right like that, that's the thing the, their their argument has some water, but there's quite a few counter arguments you could make to say like, no, this is this is not really pertinent to the to the case at hand. And absolutely, Apple just wants a gander at Valve's numbers, hundred percent. And I'm sure oh, yeah. Epic wouldn't mind either. And like all all this after <laughs> after uh, after Valve is like after uh, after Epic is like, oh yeah, we tried to do that Steam spy thing, and then uh, Valve closed that uh, spigot. So. Uh, <laughs> Man, uh, I've said it before. Uh, corporation slap fight. Go for it. Have fun with it. And absolutely. But you know, one of the things that Valve isn't so very keen on is being subpoenaed for stuff that they don't want to share. Ask Digital Homicide how that worked out for them. Uh, the <laughs> okay, okay. And I, I'm going to say that there might be a difference of scale here. Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, and again, Apple isn't selling anything on Steam either. So it's not like Valve can just cut everything from Apple that that would make much of a difference. Unless, say, Valve decides to completely can the uh, Mac client for Steam. At which point, uh, well, Mac isn't exactly a great gaming platform as it stands. In fact, in the grand scheme of things, it's only bigger than Linux and it's minuscule still and this probably going to burn that bridge because yeah no valve doesn't like when you subpoena them for things they don't want to give let's just look at the reality man you get to, <laughs> I mean, you get to do more emulation on a mac to play video games these days with the current mac than you do on oh Linux. yeah the m1 yeah. is just going to make that even worse yeah. <laughs> yeah. i don't know we'll, we'll see how that pans out but let's get into some really linuxy stuff starting with proton 513 Dash yeah, we, we we got we got to talk about Windows on Linux. Yeah, there's yeah. A, there's a new update <laughs> to uh, Proton. Uh, Neo two is now available for your non Sekiro Samurai pleasure. No! Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, yeah, it's just a lot of. <laughs> we, we someone clip that, please. Turn that into a ringtone. We could ten solve hours. that. <laughs> yeah, ten, ten hour Pedro dubstep mix. Yeah, uh, but there, there's a bunch of. Uh, uh, there's a bunch of bug fixes here for like uh, PlayStation 5 controllers. Pedro will tell you in a little bit whether or not they're actually uh, functional. But uh, yeah, there's there's more cyberpunk issues that they're fixing. Um, need for speed hangs, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can talk to people on Deep Rock Galactic now if you're not using Discord. Just it's bug fixes, right? Like that that that's kind of what these minor releases are for. Uh, yep. But yeah, so Pedro, what the people are waiting for? How's your DualShock 
five do dual uh, sense dual sense yes uh it is uh is it, is it it sensitive? Apart. it's sensitive Sorry? isn't it no no you should be you shouldn't you should be taking that apart fixing it uh, yes i should be taking that apart i don't need you, to i saw you, the iFixit video should, <laughs> that's not how that works Pedro. you can't watch something and it fixes what you have no no no, no. what you got to do is you got to take the xbox guts and you got to put them in the playstation controller yeah how about no? Uh, the uh, issue with these is that the after, Durker, t- after after time, the Durker. analog sticks uh, start uh, drifting. Yeah, it's like, a Nintendo Switch. You know, mo- most controllers do. <laughs> and uh, because the Nintendo Switch uh, is using the exact same um, Alps, analog, stick. uh, analog sticks. Uh, so, yeah, it's just the literally the plastic and rubber covers on top that are different. The actual switches down uh at the pcb are the same but yeah the only thing that i've noticed uh with this one is basically you have to turn on steam input uh the amount of games that seem to support the dual sense at this point are still very limited and the old ones that aren't getting updated (laughs) goodbye but yeah if you turn on steam input just about everything works the, uh, du- yes. the dual sense yeah so like and that's the thing mo- mo- most games are written with n- x input in mind dual sense or uh direct <laughs> input is kind of just the redheaded stepchild uh but speaking of redheaded stepchild <laughs> let's talk about the release notes for proton experimental um there is no change log there is a list that you need to go and check the um <laughs> the, the the diff for on the on the on the page but uh yep. really really you have xbox controller sport in 80s now that that, that that's kind of it it's the new Pretty change for the Proton uh, Experimental. The only th- yeah, the only thing that they added was they added the please be sure you're using the latest kernel patches on the uh few text the lines. Oh yeah, if yeah. you should play it around. I played around with that long enough to I guess maybe I didn't have the right patch. My entire experiment was then I was like, okay, let's build the kernel, build that in, boom, boom freeze. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not willing to dick around with that at yeah. least until like so. So it's in a mainline kernel. I, I don't. Yeah, when it's, I, I re- once it I shows up in mainline, a, yes. I already have to build a preemptive kernel. I don't want to start patching shit again. Like it needs to be backported to four fourteen, possibly. Mm, possibly. No, um, <laughs> gentlemen, we have an anniversary that <gasps> we like to cover. You remembered each and every year. I know it. <sighs> <laughs> Steam OS status update. Why are we bringing this up? Well, if you look in the right hand corner for you audio listeners, there's a guy with boxing gloves and a V, and it says Street Fighter, which is strong. Yeah, exactly. Attention. Now, this is from the Sunday of February 14th, 2016. Happy Valentine's Day. Attention. Steam <laughs> users and Street Fighter 5 players, our development team is working closely with Valve engineers to bring full. F- I'm Feet Fighter, yes. Feet Fighter? <laughs> Steam OS platform, yes. That's on itch. That's on itch. You, yes. can't, you can't buy that on Steam. Uh, you want to bet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this no, will be a free update. Cool. And uh, yeah, this is what was like the bill of sale. Like that part of that big page that we all saw. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, what, 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 the Witcher 5, 5 The yeah. Witcher 3. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We were talking about this in the pre-pre super shows and go listen to that <laughs> if you're a patron. Don't miss out on that content. But um I I I had hope. Like I was genuinely thinking three years out from this announcement, my brain still, and I think with some manner of like credibility, was saying to me, Valve time, man, valve time. At this point, I, I'm prepared to let it go. <laughs> Yeah, I no, mean, it works with Proton. That, that there you go. I, and, I, and I mean, like that—that's kind of our bare minimum for now. You can you can play it in Proton. Mm-hmm. Speaking speaking of, by the way, there's some there's some fringe benefits for that Proton tech, especially Dude. for the Vulcans. You gotta think about it, man, because you can think with portals, but sometimes you want to think with the Vulcan portals. Portal two got an update. Hey, that's news in itself. Gang of stuff, gang of bug, you know, just bug fixes and all this other stuff. Like, all right, well, that's kind of fun. It's kind of interesting. High DPI aware screen, intro screen Ooh. with selection. So you're not reading that damn mice type. <laughs> Very happy about that. I know, I know I'm bearing the lead. And the lead is the Vulcan render back in, currently accessible through the dash Vulcan command perimeter. And it works, man. Um, yeah. The first thing I noticed, because I launched it with Mango HUD, was it didn't say Vulcan and said DXVK. Hmm. All right. Wouldn't get a time demo for it. 
and I ran it with Vulcan. I've got 526 frames per second, and that's on a 2060 with a 1920X thread wrapper. When OpenGL, which wasn't a slouch, was still getting a 301. So 200% performance bump, not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You might, you, uh, jo- Josh, you was saying you might want to remove the uh, frame limit so you can get a little I bit more. I did than- because I, this, that's like the real numbers though. Uh, the initial numbers, yeah. I just took some screenshots. I'm like, here, I'm going to point at this thing, print screen, print screen. And Josh from D9VK is like, yo. Um, I, I, I think he's Dick's Source proper games now. are limited to 300 FPS. Uh, that that's yeah. just the default. Yeah. <laughs> but also, we, we, were, we were talking about this a little bit in the pre pre super shows, and, and using DXVK for your Vulcan implementation is really smart. They've already put all the time and effort into essentially making the API for Linux. We have DirectX 11 and 12 native, well, not natively, but it's damn close to natively on Linux. It performs about as well, uh, you know, mm-hmm. varying hard, hardware dependent, but you know, that, that's, but I also that was kind do. of interesting uh, when you look at the repos on steam db that uh for windows comment content it's using direct 3d uh dxvk yeah, well. yeah dxvk yeah. works on windows too a lot of windows people are using dxvk specifically for those older uh direct x9 titles that were single threaded like crazy and all of a sudden oh the game runs so much better with dxvk yeah. go figure it's it's <laughs> it's, a, it's a smart move though because you basically have Gone, you have a way to go to the, develop, the developers and say, hey, you don't need to rewrite your graphics stack, man. We we have the drivers. You you can just run this now. Um, yep. And <laughs> and here, here here is proof positive, right? Here's Portal 2 running with Vulkan. No issues. I, I tested it out on the 5700 XT. It works great. Hmm. So, yep. yeah. Do you and think we're going to be seeing things... this uh, rolling out to like Left 4 Brad? And, um... Oh, oh, very, very possibly, yeah. Just to... because we get for... this, but we also have like Valve has implemented Vulcan in like Dota. Just that's mm-hmm. just Vulcan, man. There's no mm-hmm. so I don't know. I'm different versions of the Source Engine because Dota Two is running Source Two, and mm-hmm. these uh, Portal Two and Left 4 Dead Two are still running the. 2015 uh, so, SDK or 2013 yeah, one? Yeah, it's, it's it's specifically the Portal 2 SDK. Um, yeah. That's the, that's the reason we don't have Alien Swarm on Linux is because that one hasn't been officially released for Linux. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 a smart move. Um, it's it's good to see that, like, you, you can use this in, like, your actual project and it will work on Linux and Windows. It is, in fact, production ready now. We have a not terribly exciting, I like to call this additional false hope update of the week. Yeah. Of the week. <laughs> <laughs> this one uh, comes from uh, Metro Exodus, and they are announcing that the enhanced version for PC has been announced. That, that That's basically it. Yeah. Uh, <gasps> it. It will be coming at some point, and it will, uh, the, the emphasis here seems to be very much on the RTX bits uh, it remains to be seen how that will translate to Linux, DLSS but of course, 2.0. Baby. Yeah, the Linux uh, interesting bit is uh, they do say last but not least back in November, we also confirmed our commitment to Mac and Linux versions of Metro Exodus. We're happy to confirm that the Mac version is expected to release on the Apple Store, Steam and Epic Game Store in March, while the Linux version is set <laughs> to follow a little later. God damn it! Uh, in the year on Steam, so I, I, I don't know. Depend, depending on that uh, that legal injunction, maybe that Mac version isn't coming out. I'm just saying. You never know, man. I read yeah. this and I'm like, all right. Do you know where we're at, kids? We're at March plus question mark. Great. Nine more months of uh, <laughs> until we get our next vague ass update from Deep Silver. Like, yeah, hey, we well, might be man. working on something. Shrug emoji. Who knows? Now I am very interested to the point of. This is going to require ray tracing, be it RTX or some ray tracing hardware. You say that like, yo, it's not going to be something you can. All right. All right. Hang on. Hang on. This is somebody with a 10 series. It is. Um, what, I, what I was saying, though, is so going in, in the article, they're like, oh, the, the ray tracing version. It can't be an expansion to the base version. We need to re-engineer the game. Uh-huh. So to me, at least when, when I read that, that says we have the Linux build and the Mac build on the old version of the engine. But we got the new hotness for this other shit. Right. But, but that's how I read it, at least. I th- you, you say that I, I genuinely think they're good. It's going to be bundled out in some way to, I, I don't think they're going to be wanting to maintain two versions going forward. That's what I'm saying. I, 
I think I think this is uh, you, gonna be. You it's say be, that like you're expecting the Linux version to get any updates. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 th I think that this Remember is that like island? some. Yeah, this this is From some Deep branch Silver? that has that has Before existed. Games? Yeah, yeah, it's Deep yeah. Silver. Publisher, yeah, but, but, not developer. Yes. <laughs> Four A like, games made Dead Island. No, Deep Silver. Published. They published it. Yes. Uh, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> After it was lo no longer getting any more I'll updates. Keep, I'll keep saying, trying to get through to him. Developer, <laughs> different developer. I don't know. I I I have worked on stuff where you have to like port long running shit over to new stuff, and usually that's just an abandoned branch that we got it working. Be thankful, Linux users. TM. <laughs> that I'm anticipating this, but you know, I prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Coke they are very clear to not mention uh, the LSS or any of the other RTX bits. It, as soon as they mention Mac or Linux, all of it's, mentions of the LSS and RTX yeah, just it, stop. It's 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 a separate pair. Again, <laughs> we could be wrong. Hundred percent. We don't we don't know. This, this exists is, in their this require a thirty ninety minimum. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I'm still waiting for the Linux version to drop before I even fire it up. I have oh, it. Yeah. I have the game on Steam. Oh, but I, I'm waiting for I the don't. Linux version. I'm not gonna. <laughs> mm -mm. I've seen that game go on sale so many times, like tempting too. I was like, oh, it's like twelve dollars, like, ah, and it runs under Proton. I'm still pissed off about the Epic exclusive. Let's be honest. But uh, if you mm, make good that's on this, why I haven't bought the Obsidian one. We will. Uh, <laughs> we'll be more than happy to play it. Now, uh, you really Jonathan enjoyed this lightning. blasphemous. Oh yes, in so, the lightning. Uh, this confused me a little bit because I was looking at our curator page because uh, some developers sent us some keys over the, the curator connects and I go to the curator page and I see it's like on sale. It's like strife and ruin. What the hell? I don't know. What kind ahead. of game is that? <laughs> and the, yeah, they changed the blasphemous, uh, like little, um, logo basically. Yeah. The little That's logo it. that Update. shows up on Give Steam. And, and uh, it just says Trife and Ruins. Like, what the hell kind of game is that? No, nope, that's just an expansion for uh, Blasphemous. That introduces the protagonist person from Bloodstained uh, Broken Promises of the Night. Uh, and yeah, this is one of the supposed uh, games that were totally coming to Linux, you guys. Symphony of the Night, that is. Blasphemous actually came to Linux a little bit late, but it did. A little bit. Uh, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> and they, yeah, they did this it, introduces... It introduces uh, an extra quest with uh, five hidden challenges similar to what you need to do in order to get the true ending. There's also boss rush mode, which uh, you have two different difficulty levels and five possible variations thereof, and uh, some extra changes and additions to the mechanics and some of the pre-existing areas. Uh, namely, the uh, if you do the mid-air swing as in order to maintain your jump or even go higher if you're doing the downward swing, now that has, uh, they changed the key combination so that you can do it while you're not in combat and not relying on enemy positioning. You can actively do that without the frustration, which is nice. That should have been there from the get go, but it is nice. <laughs> so yeah, no, this is as close as we'll get to getting, you know, broken promise, uh, broken Linux promise Vania on Linux. So uh, hey, man, at least yeah, we got ran out of steam uh, there. We actually got mighty number nine. Look on the right side. We 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 did. We well. Uh, we're, one thing we're we're not getting is there, man. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're not we're not getting Rochard anymore. Rochambeau, yeah. Rocham over, baby. Yeah, Rocham gone. You might remember this. I remember this. Was, I think this was even before Pedro came on the show. We we're talking about like, man, this Rochard game looks really good. I want to try it out. It's on a bundle. Blah blah blah. Um, it took some it took some doing to get it running, but uh, it was one of the first like proper good looking games available on Linux. Uh, no longer available though. Um, from they have a little blog post, blog blog post, blog oh. post. <laughs> Re Recoil Games has applied for bankruptcy some time ago they couldn't find a new home for the game uh no one wanted the rights uh so that means the entity that is collecting money for Rochard is dead and therefore the steam page is dead if you have the game still you can download it and play it but you can't buy it anymore i guess so rip in peace hopefully someone dumps the source for this because like it's it's a, it's a historical footnote but that it was is an a interesting footnote. thing back in the day like you said it was one of the first unity titles that i remember seeing on linux and that was kind of shocking back then like what oh yeah huh what what a was this 3D written? game right yeah like, like, full 3d good. Ooh. and we were playing around with it now thank you uh for increasing the value of our steam 
profiles and our accounts. What do we think about this, though? Um, it's sad. A little bit on the side. Yeah, yeah mm, a little sad there. If you but, have one of those old the humble keys that you haven't redeemed yet for any reason for Richard, go sell it you might want to do that right now. Ah, sell it. <laughs> Put it on eBay. <laughs> No. <laughs> but sell it and buy but buy yeah it by the time the auction ends um people go try and redeem the key and it's like no can't do that anymore i, I would I'll redeem it now honestly i would fight you on that because that's already, already in the system is out it's available you can redeem keys after something's been pulled on steam i know that for a fact yeah, okay. Like, I wasn't entirely I, sure of that, but okay. I, I, yeah, I, 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 that makes sense as long as you have like the entitlement for it, then you should like theoretically. Dig, unless access. they went back and invalidated the keys, then unless they're going to delete the repos, then you got problems. Yeah. Yeah. If they move the depot because each key is tied to a specific depot. <laughs> <laughs> so you're wrong. Understood. So um, <laughs> let's take a look at this. Eagle what about, Islands. Well, yeah. I, I wonder if it's Jim Ji Dao. <laughs> Before we move on to that, I wanted to have a little chat. Um, what do you think about being able to move your Steam library or transfer it to somebody else, be it a family member, or if something happens to you, like let's say one of us gets assassinated. And, it's masturbated. Yeah. So to have a mechanism in place, man, or Steam, uh, no. If that person wants those games, they can buy them again. I, I According would be to the end to user that, license agreement is, uh, no, it's yours and completely non-transferable. I guess that's kind of the, the, the sort of safety net of the family sharing stuff, right? Is, oh, well, if, like, if you die, you're never going to log into that Steam account so I can just have all your Steam games, right? Yeah. How long until an account becomes inactive? I, I mean, as long, as long as there are purchases on it, like, as long as, I think, as, as long as you've, like, spent money on that account, they're going to keep it forever. <sighs> If I mean, well, here, here's what I'm thinking because I'm sure there's some weasel words in the thing where Valve can go back and be like, oh, if you haven't logged into an account in nine years, we can. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. Um, I didn't see I any like expiration date when I read the end user license agreement on Steam. Hi, I had to do that. Uh, the. <laughs> The uh, it was after they added the specific redistribution bits for the Steam client on Linux, uh, and the yeah no there's I was, didn't see although I haven't read was there like, any the wording that said words? shit subject to change whenever we fucking feel like it yes yeah <laughs> so. I, I, I don't know though because like like the the entire concept of like digital asset ownership is so messy there's no oh, yeah. like ha- it's it's an interesting legal question we could probably have like a full fucking podcast discussing it i mean That's... what are we going to do when yeah, lennox nerd you got a good point when epic finally dominates everything and valve goes bankrupt well i mean epic's going to make us rebuy those games because they got to pay that back 10 cents somehow right oh yeah half off though because <laughs> epic's going to be the good guy here yeah yeah absolutely, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> but yeah uh we, but we, you gotta buy we, you gotta transfer them one at a time because we still haven't figured mm-hmm. out this cart thing Oh yeah, no. But there, if you transfer a, five in an hour, you you get your account locked. Yeah. There, there, there's a specialized <laughs> curl command because we don't actually have support on our website, but you can post this data and it will yeah. do it one at a time. So, anyways, yeah. So we we got one new game we got to talk about: Isle of Eagles or Eagle Island of the Eagles, Eagle Island. It's a game from China. It doesn't have a direct translation. Uh, all of this stuff is in Chinese. I can't read it, but Google Translate can. Um, yes. so it's a, it's a <laughs> roguelike platformer shooter. Uh, there's an emphasis on, you can shoot in, uh, eight directions. Uh, there's a uh, Eagle guy looks more like an owl, but you know, I'm not here to judge you about your bird identity. Um, and yeah, it's <laughs> really, it's really only available in Chinese. Um, if you want to check it out, I suppose you can, uh, you can get it for about seven ninety nine. Uh, but yeah, it's, I, I think this is like one of the first game. Not, no, we've seen other games from Chinese devs, but like, this is a Linux yeah, one. That's very uncommon. few and far between. I think we're seeing this mainly because we got steam China roll on. And, uh, the obvious thing is this is totes, not all boy. Oh yeah. The game. <laughs> and, but, but it doesn't look like it's lazily done at all. Not no, at all. I mean, it looked the, the, very the well done. Yeah, it's 699. And I just wanted to give this a mention because this showed up. But I was just sorting by, hey, let's see what kind of new releases we have this week. It was in the listing. I'm like, okay, it's not something because uh, 
traditionally China has been pretty hostile when it comes to the gaming segment, we should say, with China. Um, it's pretty hostile against Linux in the past. And I'd like to see more because I know what was that game like last week, week before last, the on Steam, the internet lost its shit over and they were like doing fan made English uh, patches. It was some MOBA type deal. Like, these people don't read, so they don't know about it. But somebody at home and write me. Tell me about it. Uh, so, so send some hate mail. Yeah. Like, contact form, <laughs> linuxgamecast.com. If, if, you, if you know what the fuck he's talking about, please let us know, because none of us do. Yes. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> but yeah, no, I had to, because, yeah, like, if, the whole page is in simplified Chinese. Mm-hmm. So I had to look at the, like, languages bit down the right-hand side, and yeah, English not supported. Just nope. simplified Chinese. That, that, that's it. Okay. Well, if... If, if you want to learn it, now, now's a good opportunity to, I guess. Yeah. And hey, man, hey, listen, there's the word rogue. Yeah, so, rogue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Either that or I'm very, very oh, no, slowly there's, becoming. There's fluid. also there's rogue light. And, and boss. <laughs> and boss. <All> right. <laughs> uh, okay. B- before we start dicking around in Google Translate, coming up next, NVIDIA has some uh, words for the miners out there, and it's trying to sell them alcohol or something. All 49 of them. And if you'd like to uh, give us some really high quality assets, well, <laughs> it you better start exactly doing some what squats, you're baby. On. Yeah. <laughs> it depends on what you're working on, but That's, we may I'll, or may not I'll, I'll be you, persuaded baby. to no, man. That give asset. you some source material. Listen, don't, <laughs> don't, don't judge people who use butt steroids. <laughs> I will. You gotta have that natty ass, man. Natty ass ass. Truly, the truly calipiginous of a Linux game cast, yes. You're, you're gonna pull something <laughs> if you try that again. Booty, 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 booty everywhere. If you want to stuff some money in our G-strings, you should head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Yeah, baby. It's like a strip club, except there are no strippers or boobs or anything fun you would find at strip clubs, but there are podcasts. Yes. Um, yes. Lots, hey, do you like this of, show? This is just the creamy, ooey, gooey, bootylicious center. If there's a whole other world you're not familiar with, if you dig this, you listen to this, like I could use like three extra hours of that. We have it for you in podcast form. We got the pre pre super shows and pre shows and after shows and it's all there. Custom RSS feed, drop that shit in your player. We also have a video version available for you the next day. Indeed. You can watch that live if you're a Patreon too. You can hop in Discord and, you know, <laughs> listen to that nonsense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, what what else do you get access with uh, Patreon? You get the show notes. You, can, you get me crunching what, a cough crop. You do, yeah. <laughs> if you if you want to if you want a twenty four hour right live stream of just Ben eating halls, just like shuffling them in his mouth, <laughs> like fucking Hitler eating flaming hot Cheetos. Um, don't that, even bother suggesting that. Um, don't even bother. But yeah, um, you, get, you get access to the show notes. Um, hell, um, if you're if you're a Patreon, you can actually come on the pre pre super shows, and no one really does that. You can no. show up and talk. That but just means we have a very intelligent audience. That's true. Yeah. Um, what what else? You can even buy your way on the show if you want to like get on the show proper. You can. There's a oh, Patreon level for that. But you know, what? if you're if you're a game developer, if you're someone with a project, you can also get on the show relatively easily. You just gotta hit us up. But Patreon will tell you oh, how to do that yeah. later. Yeah, in the show. We do want to talk to you, man. Uh, test out some of this stuff yeah. now. Um, speaking of which, think- I, I got to do the um, VO work for the video. I've already shown all the video and done all this stuff. For you're gonna get first crack. Hopefully, every they're just gonna stay in stock. But if you missed out. A couple of years ago, the um, like Mellanox Connect X2 10 gig cards were just everywhere. They were saturated. And for once, I got lucky on that. I got on the <laughs> tail end. I could get them from, they were higher than they were, but they were like 40 bucks a piece. That's not bad. 80 bucks, 10 gig, you're set up, good to go. I took the Pepsi challenge. I headed over to eBay and I found a mass supplier of $12 10 gig fiber cards. And I'm going to show you how to get both of those set up with a cable. And your transceivers for under 50 bucks. So if you need point A to point B, 10 gig connectivity, I'm going to hook you up. That's going to be drop in probably Monday or Tuesday for patrons. And usually on Friday, that just goes out. But I do invite you to go take a look at the video. If I make any glaring mistakes, point them out. And that gives me time to change them before it goes out everyone else. But everyone, keep being awesome. And we do have to think 
Uh, something I take partial blame for, but I'm also completely <laughs> yes, absolved. <laughs> Let me tell you how this went down. We were in Discord, hanging out, having our chats, and Paige was like, my controller's broken. Then everyone was like, well, okay. I specifically asked suggestions. It's like, okay, cheap X input controller suggestions, go. Mad Paige, cats. Pedro says that, and I immediately head over to Amazon.co.uk and... <laughs> My search begins for the fuggliest <laughs> controller I could find. Did, I didn't. I did. Did you actually search fu- fuggly controller? Yes, it returned nothing satisfactory. Damn it! So then I went to sort by price, <laughs> thinking that was going to be my lead-in, and lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, I posted that. <laughs> yes, the uh, if you Pro One controller, uh, <laughs> it is. It uses the same uh, Shan One. Uh, chipset that all of these uh chinese third-party it, controllers it seem to use it looks like a ps4 controller with a body kit it, it looks like something my the... old, your older brother gives you <laughs> to like oh yeah you're totally player two on mario yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this is a good controller yeah. it's totally it's totally plugged into the system you guys it is it it, it actually is uh but yeah sure. the Interesting bit, and I do have to read the little note that uh, Darkwing sent with it. Now that Sith Frog, b- because I was uh, streaming uh, Jedi Fallen Order, now that Sith Frog can have rainbow vomit the next time it eats you from Darkwing. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, Darkwing. Yes, it is. Um, it does both X input and uh, D input. You just have to hold down the uh, home button down here for a couple of seconds and it switches between the two. The problem with uh, X input mode, which is part of the reason why I like this controller so much right now is because it fought me a little bit. I'm nothing if not a massive, massive masochist. Uh, the <laughs> When you plug it into a Windows machine, Windows sends some specific uh, bytes when the driver makes a connection and goes, oh, okay, you're just an Xbox 360 controller. On Linux, that doesn't happen. So you need to manually send those or create a UDEV rule to manually send those whenever you plug it in, which is what I ended up doing. And yeah, there's uh, a few specific bits that you need to send out. Uh, I can put a, a link in the show notes. You should uh, you should absolutely put a link in the no, show notes. No, no, no. Sometimes, <laughs> see, I'm already at the point to see how long he can go. Uh, I'm already, I, I've heard, I've, I'm well past the, like, all right, all right, that's good. I'm like, no, let's let's just wait this well, up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I saw a great diagram on Reddit. The other day. It was like, how a normal person tells the story. It's like, by getting in, how I tell a story. And like 16, like, sidetracks yeah. to get to the end. Yeah. It's kind of brilliant. Uh, more of the story Wait. we have wish zones if you want to use them uh we've got a lot of beautiful people if you wonder about the people back here these are people who bought stuff for the studio that we put together you've helped us out a lot you know like little game sharks um just got the uh fiber switch that was great but we bought that with patron money but jordan has yeah. one as well you got a bunch of masks uh horrible terrifying I, I, stuff i have horrible masks i have books i got rpg shit i have i don't I'm pretty good on like computer stuff. I think I added another NVMe because I need some crunch space. And Pedro is quickly learning not to post random controllers like I'm learning. I don't have anything interesting. I don't really have a personal <laughs> one. We do have one for the studio. Uh, I think the next thing we're going to be focusing on. Do I even have that? Yeah, I got that pulled up. I think the next thing we're going to be picking up is like a legitimate, like dedicated server boxy thing. Uh, powers. Yeah. Studio boring stuff. Don't worry about it. Uh, but. You get your name back here and you can make us read old, old, old Threadrippers. That's that's what Ben's Vintage, called. motherfucker. Send Ben <laughs> your old Threadrippers. Dude. If, if they need a good home. If anybody's getting rid of like a 2970, call me. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some money for it, man. But holy fuck, those things haven't budged in price since like their initial. Maybe the maybe the 3060 will, though. The 36. See, this, mm-hmm. this is where you <laughs> fucked up in video. We're about to get to this story because GeForce. <laughs> it's made for gaming. Also, possibly mining. <sighs> yeah, this happened. NVIDIA is good. NVIDIA, man. Uh, they were limiting hash rates of GeForce RTX 3060 GPUs so they're less desirable to miners. And we're going to launch an entire new line of professional mining cards. Thanks, NVIDIA. Why are you doing this? Oh, because you're being awesome. You love gamers and it's great for the environment. Go fuck yourself, Jensen. Um, Yeah. <laughs> These performance restrictions, uh, they're going to be the Linux drivers as well. That's why we got to talk about this. And we really do. Um, it's not going to be a driver's thing. Initially, when this was coming out, I'm like, well, you know what, NVIDIA? That's a great way to get your drivers reverse engineered. Uh, looking forward to that. <laughs> but NVIDIA's came out, take two. And they're like, hey. 
This is going to be built into the BIOS. It's going to detect if you're doing Ethereum or anything like that. We're going to cut your hash rates just in half. It's not going to be attractive. To which my first thought was, you know, okay, my rule first is get Ben NVIDIA. You're not trying to protect. We're trying to sell this like this. I mean, it's They're you. trying to maximize profit, this right? This is like, what I'm saying. Any other company possibly buy Money Penguin. Uh, but NVIDIA, no one expects like good or nice or anything. We, we've made the Boston deal and I get it, mm-hmm. but it's not about protecting consumers. This, at, it, at the most generous way possible, is about increasing your profit margin because the 3060, with its delicious, delectable 12 gigabytes of video memory RAM, that's a lower, lower profit margin. You'd much rather have miners buying 3070s. 3080s, 39s, you're going to make some more out of that. But, but I got to think about this, man. Making an entirely new SKU of something that, because, hey, I'm, I'm sitting here right now. I'm like, I really need a new GPU for video editing. I would be ecstatic because in a normal, regular world cycle, the 2080 supers are just 20 they would be reasonably priced but with this bullshit shortage they're not reasonably priced even the mining cards which we didn't really have a mining cycle with nvidia last time it was amd but those would eventually show up on ebay patient people like me is i don't need the latest and greatest i just need to be able to do what i can do this is going to get rid of that market for the 30 series but it's really not because miners are not going to fucking buy these things unless they're like one third the fucking price then maybe I, I- Worst case scenario on top of that, there's no aftermarket for it. So they're going to direct to landfill. That, well, I mean, that that and even like there, there's nothing to say, like if NVIDIA puts this mining skew out, these might get completely sold out immediately anyways. And mm-hmm. then they're just going to go back to their old bullshit of buying consumer grade video cards. I mean, like it, it makes sense because these mining cards are basically just. GPUs that they would have thrown out. They don't meet the sp- they don't meet the voltage standards, but they're good for doing hash calculations if you're mining Ethereum or Bitcoin or Dogecoin or whatever. I I, I can see why they would want to do that because now they can have their cake and eat it too. But will it have the desired effect? I don't think so. Honestly. I don't think it will. Mainly because even as a miner, I try to look at different angles and all that. I'm thinking as a miner, I want to be able to recoup some of my investment, and that has traditionally been selling these cards. On your right. Facebooks and your Ebays and your Craigslist. You're not going to do it with that. You might get one or two fucking collectors. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> and uh, there's also been articles now. Uh, the one I read was from Tom's Hardware. There will be a link in the show notes for that, too. Uh, they're claiming that despite all of these restrictions that uh, NVIDIA has put in the drivers for the 3060, people who got early access to the 3060s with the new drivers tested them out oh you can apparently still generate seven dollars a day with ethereum even after being deliberately gimped but that same article uh also points out that okay so nvidia is detecting if you're mining for ethereum because you're running specific uh jobs in your gpu let's say ethereum changes how it is running those jobs just slightly oh all of a sudden all of those provisions that they had made don't account anymore and you're back to full speed so it's going to be a game of cat and mouse between nvidia updating so, the drivers here, and ethereum updating their hashing here, here's the thing though <laughs> i i think i think the bios thing that's implemented is a kill switch there's probably a simultaneous driver and hardware and firmware component uh specifically for that right like because in like these guys aren't stupid. They're they're just gonna con- it's it, it's it's what they did with the uh with the virtual GPUs, right? Like they started detecting like, hey, you're running this in a virtualized environment. I detect a VBIOS. I'm gonna not give performance, but people find their way around these things, right? Like it's, yeah, it's, and, and, and Nvidia made the retail. arrogant claim uh, that oh, this will be unhackable. <laughs> there's well I, I mean we 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 all know there's no such thing that, that, that's like that's like a taco shitting unicorn right it's it's we, it's, a, it's a market segment now i understand you know to defend your shareholders and all that that's that's their goal you know and that's all they're trying to do and they don't give a fuck about us no corporation does it's weird when people back mm-hmm. any you know picking teams but like setting this up like nvidia has to see that the long term is in, at least in this skew is for gamers, you know, because Bitcoin, it, it's a fickle bitch or, you know, it's cryptocurrency, been. right? <laughs> yeah. Always has been. Um, 
So, well, well, the, the, that one guy owns like all the Dogecoin now, and it's like worth a couple billion dollars, right? Yeah. Like, you, you you never know because you probably bought that shit as a goof. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, it uh, was a meme. <laughs> it's hey, if this results in being able to get a thirty sixty, fucking whatever. I mean, but I'm just saying, Nvidia, save yourself some money and trying to. No one's buying the environmental bullshit and whatever i mean you're <laughs> nvidia all right we'll, we'll sign in blood on the next fucking card and so yeah and it's until amd gives us something that can in any way shape or form compete with nv inc or or somebody kicks our door in and files a dmca <laughs> Like what happened with uh, the fine, fine folks that were working on the RE3 project. Yeah, someone specifically, uh, Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, kicked down their GitHub um, repo and a bunch of the forks that people had created before <laughs> this. Somebody went looking on that. Well, they didn't have oh, to oh, look, but yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you can just you click the on the forks and it shows you. Yeah. And the, uh, yeah, they basically took down Even all the forks too yeah yep, the ones that were uh, listed hold, 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 as private too do, do we do we recognize do we recognize any of these names i couldn't find anything i mm, none yeah. that i they immediately jumped out at me but yeah the uh, uh, r- original one uh they uh the when github gets a dmca request they ask for a detailed description of the original copyrighted work that was allegedly infringed and their reply is simply the content in the links below consists of copyrighted materials owned by take two the use of our copyrighted content in these links are unauthorized and should be removed immediately and they give just the public pages of uh, gta3 and vice city to which um My first thought was, okay, that's terribly vague, but then again, this is a legal situation and those tend to be, but what exactly was infringing? Because, you know, hashtag not a lawyer, but how exactly do you claim uh, copyright over a re-implementation, which still requires people to own the game in order to get the files, effectively the actual IP that you own, that they had to acquire somehow, hopefully yeah. they actually bought the game uh how do you claim copyright on that well Here's and, and the, that's go ahead go ahead, go ahead. I, I was just gonna say like dmca does actually <laughs> require you to identify things and like i i would Which say they that yeah don't? they they don't yeah showing showing a link to two store pages is not like any any sort of specific clause and uh uh and like ven's gonna go into more detail about like how the dmc actually works i'll, I'll let him do it <laughs> yeah, the the don, don, donkey mushroom crappy poop. I, yeah, I just like that Jordan sees that I'm back here messing with stuff. He's like, "That's a good time to throw it up in." I don't know. You 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 were gonna say something, and I interrupted you, and I just wanted to get that little bit out. But yeah, I mean, yeah. DM, we we were again. We were talking about this pre pre super shows, and uh, DMCA requires that you take it down first. If there is no valid claim, then it is on the person who the claim is being filed against to provide proof. Uh, until and there, there's a there's a facility for that provided by the DMCA, oftentimes gets ignored in practice because you know laws aren't meant to prov- protect little people; they're meant to protect big corporations. But yeah, at the end of the day, what I'm thinking about is this: Are we looking at a scare tactic, or are we looking at something that's 100% totally legit? Because I like to have all that information on the table before I start backing anyone. Because I'm very happy to be like, hey, this is some type of shit tripwire. More than happily, we'll do. However. I've not followed this project terribly closely. I knew it existed. It was a thing. I'm just not huge into GTA, so I never bothered to compile it and play around with it. If they were just doing like legit disassembly, clean room, reverse engineer, all that, that's cool. Trip where you being a dick, but hey, what's new? You know, it's another data ends with a Y at that company. If they ended up having a bunch of assets from the games or anything like that in there. I'm unfamiliar with what they had in this GitHub repo. I mean, there could be some legitimate things in there to go, all right, I get it. Get the shit fixed. Screenshots at most. I'm not prepared Logo, to say Logos, that. art assets. I, I found a fork that was still up. So, yeah, screenshots at most. <laughs> I, will it, only only accept, I will only sure, accept sure. spoons, no forks. No. Yeah, sure, sure, Sherlock Mateus to the rescue. Yeah. Real quick, That's if you're a, wondering Yeah, because about, when this like, happened, I had to go and find it. <laughs> you could have just used the archive.org link. 
Alan Poe's. Yeah, thing. they they have yeah. a bundle. Yes, yeah. they have a bundle too. But uh, yeah, no. Is this like a situation of because Bethesda, when OpenMW started putting out their stuff publicly, Bethesda made it very clear to them: don't call it Open Morrowind, or we'll sue you for trademarks. Is this what we're dealing with here? Is it no. their use of screenshots? Is it their use we of the word GTA? Know. We uh, don't know because they don't say exactly no, what it is. What they just deal with. Send. Ultimately, at the end of the day, real quick before <laughs> we go into the next story, is why GitHub has to do this the same fucking reason YouTube has to do this. It's bullshit, but you got to maintain something. If I'm running a web zone, I have something called Safe Harbor, at least in the States. That means if somebody uploads and puts some illegal shit, copyrighted shit, something like that, I'm like, hey, I didn't put it there. Don't come after me. Legally, but somebody comes back and says, hey, that's ours. Why is it on your zone? They're not going to sue me. And they're like, get that shit off. DMCA, you act first, ask questions later. That's just how it rolls. I'm not saying it's good because I'm not. But Pedro was wondering earlier, like, well, they said they promised that they wouldn't do that again. Legally, they have to do that. Or also, with the, when the oh, YouTube oh, deal oh, thing also, came also, out, they also, specifically also, said that. To, so, yes. Uh, pay, 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 corporation pay, breaking <laughs> promises? <laughs> uh, and uh, Pedro, to your, to your point about uh, trademark, it's the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Uh, trademark is f- under a different law. So it's not a trademark. Oh, it violations. wouldn't be the first time someone tried to uh, abuse yeah. the DMCA for oh, a trademark yeah. oh, stipulation. Oh, 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 no, yeah, the, 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 no, no, no. How, how dare you imply that the Digital Millennium Copyright Act is anything other than a perfect piece of legislature that solves all of our problems? It has been Deus Ex multiple bill. times. We've seen it used as a weapon over and over and over again. A, a, a cudgel, yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, we can talk about a hover bundle. Plug it in yeah. and play digital. Indeed, you could. You should absolutely follow the link in our show notes to this humble bundle because we got an affiliate link on there. But it's the humble oh, yes. plug and play bundle. It's for stuff with uh, like controllers and shit. Um, <laughs> wow, marketing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Listen, I'm not humble's marketing department. I'm just reporting the bundle. Uh, you got a bunch of Linux titles here, actually. Uh, Neurovoider, Hover, uh, Sundered Elders Edition, Epistory, which is a fun little typing tutor, but I do hope they've actually fixed that game-breaking bug in, like, the third level. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chroma Squad, uh, Sigma Theory, Col- Global Cold War. Those are your Linux games. It's, they're pretty evenly spread out amongst the various levels so if you want to spend some money and get a couple of windows games to run in proton as well you can <laughs> but yeah that, 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 i'm that, just that, seeing what the hell it was yeah it, it, it is one of those oh, uh, fuck like that. Nope, that's uh, grand Way strategy type of <laughs> hacking <laughs> games hacking yeah. simulator games yeah now uh we can speak to story that was fun i played a little bit of sunder because you know it had that magic word that gets me to at least um a, Curiosity to Metroidvania. Uh, it's hand drawn. Mm-hmm. It's well done. It didn't hook me in like the 30 or 45 minutes I played, but it, it was all right. Um, mm-hmm. Didn't have any problems with uh, anything else. Uh, Pedro, there were some issues with some keys that I noticed that yes. you gave me an answer to. Yeah, Chroma Squad. That was the reason that I bought this bundle because of the Linux games on display. That was the one I didn't have. Uh, also, it may or may not have been because I wanted WRC8. But yeah, <laughs> Chroma Squad, um, they they don't have any Steam keys available for them at this time. But they do say but we are currently experiencing... Redeem the... Uh... You can't read the, the DRM free that... version. Well, here's the thing. When I went, I, I got the keys. It generated the keys for me, but they'd already been claimed. Mm. <sighs> okay. Yeah. yeah, no, it doesn't. It didn't even give me the button for that. And I'm like, what the? Damn why you, not? G2A. See, there's the other part of the story. <laughs> I got it like right when it launched, you know, because we got, we get it like maybe two hours before it goes live. And I posted and yeah, I hit that, hit that, hit that. And I had to go back and double check it because I don't remember what games I have. So I just <laughs> instant redeem through the web interface. And a lot of times it's like, oh, this has already been redeemed. And I saw it and I said, wait, it didn't say that, did it? And I went back. It's like, this one has already been redeemed. It didn't say you own this dumbass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, no, and they guessing for that they pulled it with and left just a message after you purchase it which says we are currently experiencing issues with steam mm-hmm. keys for chroma squad we're working to resolve the problem as soon as possible thank you for your patience in the meantime please try out the drm free version of the game below so you do at least get yep. the drm free don't worry they one said that it, you can download and play. keys are going to be out right after gianna sisters is 
<laughs> I, I, I mean, ho- hopefully they can get it resolved in the nine days left on the bundle. But like, yeah, Chroma Squad's a fun game. It's like Super Sentai Tactics. It's okay. good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's a uh, there's a new version of Dick's Fix out. There is, and uh, I can foresee a, a proton update coming in the future. But no, yeah, there really, <laughs> no, m- there m- are um, <laughs> not not a GE one two. Nope. Just, uh, I mean that that's mostly reliant on the uh, wine versions, but maybe that too. But yeah, this one it comes with a bunch of uh, bug fixes and improvements as usual. And uh, they, if you're u- using the um, Mason build system, there's been probably some system warnings if you have one of the latest versions that's been fixed. Uh, one of the things that kind of jumped out at me was uh, Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. I, you may remember that I actually uh, streamed a little bit of that game on Twitch um, until the NVIDIA drivers caused my X session to completely uh, shit the bed whenever a Vulcan context disappeared. Uh, so, yeah. The, um, after that, uh, an issue started appearing where the game would just straight up go out of memory as soon as you started it up. That, that this apparently fixes that, which is nice. So that playthrough may yet happen. We'll see. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we'll wow. see. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they've uh, they have some other cool fixes in here too. Apparently, Hitman Three needs a bunch of the same fixes that Hitman Two does on AMD. So where are we up with like Hitman? I think I, I'm, Hitman, I'm not a fan of it. Hit, but, Hitman always confused you know. me because like reading, it's just on the tin. I'm like, I just fucking love this game, and I just yeah. Didn't. It, it's 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 very it's very much like a live action puzzle game. I like the Metal Gear Solid style stealth a little bit better than the Hitman stealth, having tried both. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the but apparently Hitman Three is just using the same engine as Hitman Two, so it needs the same t- sort of fixes. Also, um, I know Jill's probably very happy about this, but they've implemented DXGM multi monitor support. This is the thing that lets you paint uh, a single game across multiple displays, like Infinity or stuff like that. Nice. Mm. So <laughs> if you uh, so if you have a recent version of Wine and uh, an up to date version of X Rander, you can theoretically play your BattleTech Battle Station, whatever. You can set up your Mech Warrior Battle Station and have it like have a full panoramic panoramic view which is so if i have like eight crts three four by three lcds and i want to run flight simulator from 2002 i mean as long as you have an up-to-date mesa for your matrox card yeah i you're still good. want to and your x render is aware of all of those okay yeah yeah all right yeah fair enough, fair enough. yeah well ladies and gentlemen i think it's time to imagine a world Oh, yeah. <gasps> he said it. He said the thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new version of Zero AD. It's Alpha Zergens. All right. Alpha Xerxes. <laughs> Xerxes. <laughs> An international group of volunteer game developers broadly announces the release. There's a gang of new stuff in this uh, building snapping, uh, lobby improvements, new art. Take a look at the art. There's the old art. Look at that sad bear looking all old and artsy. Now he's turned into a pig. Much better bear. Um, <laughs> You, you can clearly see some work in this is getting like uh really really pretty man you're seeing some of their mssa sharpening just i like it but can we drop the alpha after a full decade no okay <laughs> just no. <laughs> so, l- l- listen if, if super tux card <laughs> took forever to hit a 1.0 like i i, I don't i don't Let's know see. like I don't. I don't think this will ever hit a 1.0 right they're just gonna keep working on it and try to make it better and better and better and that's that's fine um, as, as long as they're not fucking up people's save files, maybe that's what they need. They just need to set a 1.0 and be like, your save file is safe going, not going between major versions, minor versions. You're fine. Um, but yeah, they have a bunch of new stuff here as well, which is pretty cool. This Filtered is one of like the little high- people filter yeah. little people. All right. <laughs> would, would, would you say this is one of the best looking open source games out there? I, I probably would. Yeah. Best with still to this effects. day. Yeah. Oh, you can adjust yeah. the world population too. <laughs> Nice. So you can just like straight up crash your box. I'm hoping. Like, mm-hmm. I yeah. No, with that <laughs> amount of post processing, if you have a thousand units on screen, yeah. <laughs> so that's good news. Again, that's play080.com. All this is going to be in our show notes. Go check it out after the fact. Something we always talk about is if you have a game that's been out for a while, maybe sales have dropped, and more importantly, you don't feel like maintaining it anymore. A great, beautiful. Richard. Thing you can do <laughs> as a developer is to open source the code. Indeed. Uh, this is what o- Volo Airsport did. Um, this is a game that the developer Not to has- be confused with Volo Water Sports. 
different game. <laughs> that see, you gotta, you gotta go to Pornhub to watch my playthrough yeah. of that. Um, yeah, uh, but it's it's uh, wing shooting and parachute or uh, wing shooting and parachuting. Uh, the game was available on Steam. The guy has abandoned it. So yeah, he has uh, he has put it on GitHub to. It's it's the place where software goes to die, right? But and it was a one dollar bargain. Ti- it was a one dollar bargain title. But you know what? Hey, if someone wants to make like a kick ass open world kinks uh, kink suit wingsuit adventure, ah. I want to play the kink suit adventure. No, if you if you want to play like a hang gliding wingsuit adventure game, or you want to make something like that, this is like a skeleton for it at least. So yeah, know. you can break into trees, man. If you, if, 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 if you want to make open source just cause in unity, this is your, Dude, this is your all right. game. Do you think we can make Goat Simulator with parachutes and wingsuits? Absolutely. All right. Sold. Oh, yeah. That guy doesn't have a neck, though. <laughs> You're going to have think... to convert, you know, uh, Goat Simulator from Unreal to Unity because this is very much a Unity project. <laughs> oh, that's never been done before. <laughs> no. Impossible. It, it, de- it, de- it definitely is the Unity project, so you're going to need the Unity Community Edition at least if you want to try and build this yourself. But, yeah, I mean... I, d- I wanted to give this a shout out because, hey, you might learn something from that. Uh-huh. You yeah. you might learn that if you've given up on your project, you can just open source it and people will pick it up. I, I was it's looking a- at the video and it looks like it was physic- <laughs> physics. And- Mm-hmm. That's a word. It looks. It looks like it was very physics. <laughs> yes, physics all, Com- all the way to the bottom, baby. <laughs> Coming up next, more physics because we're throwing chairs at Celeste. <laughs> Welcome back to the chairquisition. We've fallen so far, and now we're gonna climb our way back to the top. We're throwing chairs at Celeste, developed by Matt Makes Games, done on FNA by the lovely, sexy. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks US. What is it? Help Madeline survive her inner demons on her journey to the top of Celeste Mountain in the super tight platformer from the creators of Towerfall. Brave hundreds of handcrafted challenges, uncover devious secrets, and piece together the mystery of the mountain. Uh, this went on sale, so Ven bought us some keys uh, to make us play this game. And here we are. <laughs> That's one way of that- looking at it, isn't it? Yeah, so so now he's going to tell you about it, right, Ben? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Let's talk all about Celeste over here on Debian Bullseye-ish right now on the Threadripper 1920X for the 2060. I know, I know, this graphical juggernaut. Um, solid, 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 kids, man. Everything's working. Joysticks reconnect when the batteries run out. Yeah, Xbox, with your fucking no warnings. Um, <laughs> that happened. Performance-wise, 60 at 2160p and 1080p. Didn't have any issues there. Now, it has a nice bumping soundtrack. I really appreciated that. You know, it's good to have there when you're getting wrecked constantly over and over and over and over. And after the initial, like, blame the hardware, blame the controller, oh, there's something wrong with the... After you get that out of your system, you're going to find that the controls are, in fact, tight. Nice surprise. Now, let's talk about the fun. But before we talk about the fun, before we get started, I just need to comment and thank one Pedro Mateus for making this lovely, lovely video that I was watching through right up until the end where Pedro pulled out his nope rope. He's like, nope, Mm -hmm. I'm done with this bullshit. And (laughs) I say that because it's a shared experience. I remember those exact feels. It's like, I remember quitting there. Yeah, I had to come back to it. All right. So these games, if you don't know, my fucking crossword puzzles. I love them, man. There's no RNG, no extra bullshit, just 100% get good or die. Fucko. Huge fan of that. They force you to like develop skill through trial and error. You're, n- you're not going to think your way out of a situation without being able to translate that think into action. It's brains and bronze having to collaborate. Resembling, you know, some type of harmony. You got to get those two parts of you together. And it's also something that you're not going to be instantly good at. I like that because it forces you to humble your ass, sit down, and learn versus reading out and just rage quitting. Now, rage quits, everybody's familiar with that. But to paraphrase Marcellus Wallace, you know, rage quits, that's just ego fucking with you. Fuck ego. You know, now, speaking of Alt F4, if you do that, I learned this the hard way. It doesn't save you progress. So you can start all the way back. All save, the way back. Save, save, save and quit. Calmly save, save and quit. Save and quit, baby. <laughs> yes, I, I was punished by that twice. Not to say I didn't get angry. I get angry, but I'm able to come back. I'm like, all right, I, I got to figure this out. I don't. I, I love a challenge like this. Now, at the end of the day, let's talk about what it is. I mean, it's a fun and fair precision platformer. 
despite being hipster pixel. No, it's pretty hip, hipster pixel. It is. It's great. I like it. And um, like this extra bonus soda, they took the time to throw in a story that's borderline interesting. I'm curious to see where this goes, and I know I can beat this. It's one of those games. It gets you angry, but the good kind of angry. Now, if I had to fault it, just straight up faulted for something, it's the voice air quotes around acting and no way to cut that shit off that (laughs) if you watch my initial live stream the first time that i was like oh no no and there was no way to cut it off so deal with it i liked it it's a good game and there's a reason this is like the second most speed run game in the history of everything so even at 20 bucks i wouldn't feel bad um if you see it on sale insta buy Linux support, it's there. It's not lazily done. It works. It just Step tier one citizen. Yeah, I love it. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a solid three. I'm going to say 100% go check this out. If this is your thing, if you like something, no, it doesn't have the story of Hollow Knight or something, but if you liked the platforming like uh, mechanics of Hollow Knight, just that you got to get it done. And there's also a dash of like rage platformer in here. I don't care what you fucking say. Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> uh, I don't know about Rage Platformer, but over here on the Ryzen 7 uh, 3700X with the GTX 1080, it launches out of the box, no issues. Uh, it does lock the FURPS at 60, which means that VSync option is a damn lie, which seems to be the case with FN8 a lot. I don't know why, but yeah, no, that seems to be the case. Uh, it doesn't actually sync to V-blank, it just locks the FURPS at 60. Uh, when I saw the 3D menu, I was hopeful, oh, is that like an option? Can you play in 3D? No, no, no. No, it's hipster pixel. That's what you're getting. Heck, it goes turbo hipster pixel because there's the Pico 8 version of Celeste in Celeste. Now tell me, <laughs> tell, tell me you got that without cheating. Oh, I got that without cheating because I never looked up anything about this game. I just right. started I, yeah, playing I and now found it too, where it was. It's like, what's that up there? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you just go down a vent and there it is. Uh, and then you can just play it from the main menu. But yeah, if you really want your Ipsir pixels in your Hipster Pixels, you can play the Pico 8 version as well. Uh, Controller-wise, the DualSense uh, needs Steam input to work properly. I'm guessing this is this was built on an older version of FNA, so it doesn't have the DualSense in the controller database. Makes sense. The DualShock 4 and the If You uh, Pro 1. Thank you very much, uh, Darkwing. Very nice. Uh, those work out of the box. And for the fun... Well, I've said my piece on hipster pixel platformers on many an occasion. This one, it does seem to emphasize the puzzle aspect of the platforming, uh, and I can at least appreciate that. It's uh, very good in that particular regard. Uh, Most of the puzzles have everything you need to solve them on screen, and the ones which don't usually involve another element of urgency that require you to keep moving, so that sort of adds to the challenge. I got stuck for almost 20 minutes at the end of the recording. If you're watching the video version, we'll probably not get to that. But yeah, I got stuck in that room and I had to just, no, I, I gotta go before I kick something. Um, and yeah, the, there's one room that spans like three or four screen lengths. And if you die, you go all the way back up to the top. But that room also helped with my confirmation bias that the DualShock is the absolute best controller out there. Because, well, slight tangent, let's talk about D-pads. A good D-pad makes it so you can reliably hit any of the eight directions with minimal to no cock-ups. You just do it instinctively and you go in whatever direction you push. A bad D-pad will send you diagonally when you want to go straight vertical or horizontal or vice versa. The if you... Uh, is very much in that first situation where you want to go uh, straight up or straight to the right and it sends you diagonally combined with some other direction. The dual sense is the vice versa. If you want to go diagonally, it tends to shoot you straight up or horizontally wherever the direction you happen to be pointing at. So... If we go back to Celeste, uh, the DualShock was the only one, the DualShock 4 was the only one that I could reliably hit the direction I actually wanted to dash in with no cock-ups. In that room that I ran into an issue, as soon as I picked up the DualShock, it's like, oh, just on the first go. All right, okay. 
So yeah, if you have a controller that you could trust, uh, this will be a very satisfying experience because yeah, it will feel very satisfying when you're able to actually get through it on the first go or very close to it. It's amazing. It feels amazing. And as far as hipster pixel platformers go, Celeste stands high above the typical hipster pixel platformer crap that you usually see on Steam. So three chairs for me. <laughs> oh, you done. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, so on uh, Fedora 33 64 uh, bit with the i7 6700K and the Radeon 5700 XT, launched out of the box. Same with the R9 3900X and the GTX 1080 Ti on Fedora 32. Um, yeah, no no issues there. Uh, I tried the DualShock uh, 4 and the Switch Pro controller. Everything worked fine. Uh, everything was tight. This is FNA. So, you know, it rumble. There, there was rumble. There was lights. Mm-hmm. All the stuff you want out of your controller. Your the controller you spend eighty dollars on at least. Um, the <laughs> pixel art very well done. Um, the three D menus kind of kind of threw me off a little bit. Like I was expecting two D menus for a two D game, but you know, you didn't know what was going on. But it was. Ni- it's always nice when you see them. Like, oh, we could do this if we wanted, but this is mm-hmm. an artistic style that we've chosen. I, I, and I mean, like, I get it, right? Like, the, the the minimalist theme makes you really focus more on the platforming and everything is clearly designed. The character designs are cute. I don't really mind the... Uh, but, you know, that's that's just a personal thing. Different people are, are bugged by different stuff. Um, fun-wise, yeah, I just don't, like precision platforms at all uh it's it's my curse um there are a lot of really good games celeste including uh, included in that list that are out there with solid narratives which i really like but i have what my old piano teacher miss mellinger calls stupid fingers and i have a really a lot of really bad neurochemistry that doesn't really play well with the genre or my computer hardware um so and you know what to the game's credit they provide a lot of accessibility options uh for those of us who are less dexterous or patient uh you can enable multiple dashes you can enable invulnerability there's there's a couple different options but uh, and I, I played through a bunch of the game with them, but it kind of felt like cheating, even though I was just using invulnerability to practice the jumps. And I ended up restarting all the rooms anyways. I just found that I was able to better execute without the threat of having to restart the entire thing over, which, I mean, might work for you. But again, it felt a little too cheaty for my taste. Um, there's also, like Ben said, there's a really cool story. There are a lot of interesting characters in here. Um, def- definitely, definitely something I'd like to engage with, but I'd probably end up... If I wanted to consume that story, I'd probably end up watching someone else play it who has like the patience to collect all the strawberries and go through the good endings. Um, you know, and you know, different different play styles for different people. Um, I don't play games to feel bad, and that's perfectly fucking fine. I can recognize that there's a lot of work and passion in this game, and the the controls are very tight. The level design is very very sharp. I just have stupid poo brains that don't let me enjoy these games without having to give myself blunt force head trauma. So that said, I'm going to give it two chairs. I highly suggest you check it out. It might be for you if you're in that sort of mental space, but you know what? It, 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 I think it's still worth it to check out at least. It's, it's a, it is a shining example of how to do an indie game right. It is. And oh, yeah. it gives you nothing but like straight feels watching like Jordan go because I'm not getting it. It's a communal experience. I understand why this uh, ended up like being so popular because I'm watching this. And I'm like, oh, I saw Pedro's. The, the thought process of like, what happens when I, t- oh, it kills me. Got it. Understood. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Collect a new piece of data. And you get into things like different types of platforming. Yeah, it's a lot of puzzles, but you can't say strictly puzzles when you got ghost hotel owner chasing after you. Yes. Oh, yeah. Or, or, or your, your evil, your e- negative self image trying to murderize you. Like all yeah. three of them. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, five uh, uh, on the very last bit is like, <sighs> seriously, just, God. Oh, and you're making me cross paths with them now. God. <laughs> There's a lot more to this game than you would initially think. So for sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Give it a De- look. Def- yeah, def- definitely give it a look. It has a ton of critical acclaim for a reason. You're doing yourself yep. a disservice. E- <laughs> even if you don't like this type of game, check it out. You might you might like it. And there's a lot of accessibility options. If you just want to play through the story, you can. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, coming up next, Pedro is or is a boxy, boxy man. He's got a boxy, boxy plan, and he's going to stream it. And we're going to, I don't know. Well done. Box. Just, you nailed that one. And if you'd like to tell us uh, exactly 
how you can tell how warm a one and a zero are when it comes to audio going into your ears, you can absolutely do that. You can go to linuxgamecast.com, you hit the contact button, and you fill out the form. Make sure you pick other because... Well, that doesn't really fit with what we do here. Unless you want to be actively mocked, at which point you will select LGC Weekly. For that is where the hate mail goes. And uh, if somehow you happen to be watching us live just now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We go places during the live show. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Horrible, horrible places. Weird places. I mean... I got copied from one CD to another CD, and now I sound way worse. And... Yeah, I was a bit right. Yeah, that's, that's what it's what it is. I, I, listen, I got to talk to my doctor a bit about bit rot. Maybe I can get like a shampoo or a cream or something. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Digital gangrene. It's the worst. So we get a little bit tonight. Uh, our first bit of it, it's not even it's the worst kind of hate. It's it's the type of hate that will cut people in half. Uh, but a quick Spray mention me? from Frosty. Frosty the Claw Band, Frost Claw 20 in Discord. He's just like, you three are all very cute and sexy. And I love you all. Heart. How Gross. dare you? Gross. That's that's exactly what an audiophile would say. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> nasty, nasty stuff. How 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 dare you smother affection on us like that? Ugh. But we do have a more uh serious one because you might have noticed uh Pedro got some people together and they played some Roblox uh Sunday. <laughs> Robocraft, but Roblox, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, mind test. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, everyone took a break from copying CDs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, it was uh, Call Phoenix, uh, someone who we accidentally ended up playing with. And uh, he or she, uh, they write, oh my, Robocraft, and you destroyed Swarm Linux. Yep. The sound of a frag when you play in elimination mode is loud. Oh yeah, it is loud. Tell me about uh, it. First, Tell me about it. Tell me a little bit about it, Pedro. No, no, no. Uh, the, the, Do you know what's it, even it louder? My, again, my mistake, uh, <laughs> because I ended up uh, recording everything on one track, even though I had everything split up to different tracks. And then I uh, accidentally forgot to tell OBS to uh, record so. those extra tracks. So Venoli ended up getting the mix. So that's on me. That's my bad. <laughs> I, there was a lot of nodes in that audio track of, oh um, my God, geez, Rick. I just can't normalize this. Um, but I digress. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Call Phoenix resumes. The first time I played this mode, the headphones volume was way up too much and then fragged my ears. This game works like a charm on GNU uh, slash Linux, or as I've taken to calling it, no. Uh, like for Nick's, a quote unquote. Uh, I don't know. Do you think game, he was sitting there before typing that? He's like, oh shit, they might be one of those type of Linux users. Better put <laughs> new in there so you, they don't get you, it. You, that you, might you, have you, been a test. Well, listen, listen, the, 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 the trick there is autocorrect, right? You just autocorrect Linux to GNU slash Linux. Next and you're good. All right. Yeah. Uh, for a quote unquote dead game, Robocraft is pretty alive. It, it is. Uh, building your own robots and then play with them. Um, that cool mix of X, uh, FPS skills and builder is very cool. I'm level 2744. And here I was feeling inadequate when, you know, everyone else that I was playing with had basically just started playing the game and I was level 280 something. <laughs> I don't need to feel inadequate anymore. I, I, I guess levels are meaningless in this game now. Like, yeah, I'm level 200. I'm level 2,000. I'm level 2 million. Mm. I don't know. My favorite thing, uh, I didn't get to watch a lot of it, but I watched a lot of it um, after the live stream, was uh, there was one build that Pedro was like, this build, oh, they're using that build that just does this and makes it super effective, and it's an awesome build. I just can't believe they're using such... Murder cube. No, it was like yeah, some no, other thing with a. It, it, it is a, the meta. <laughs> oh I hate boy. people who play on the meta and they stick to the meta and they have absolutely no originality. I hate that. I do. <sighs> not, nothing to do with like how fucking brutally effective it was. Yeah, it's not. It's like not, I it's said, not, it is it's brutally not like effective. Domin- just dominant not. strategy <laughs> exists for a reason. <laughs> it's fun to watch. Go back and watch it. It's on the uh, YouTubes and uh, YouTube is. Yeah, I think we did good. We got a little bit of love and a little bit of a like. That's clearly the most emojis I've ever seen in a single hate mail. Yes. Consider well, that you know, good use of the emoji week, button. Next week, <laughs> next maybe week. just 
hold on. Send, send us entirely in emojis and we got to like translate it like hieroglyphs. Yeah. We got to get the Rosetta ahead. Stone. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll, I'll set the spam filter to kick that shit back. Ah. <laughs> uh, you I, got I, an you, emoji you, quote. <laughs> yeah, I could. <can> d- <laughs> on that uh, XOXO smiley face, go fuck yourself. Um, you can always get a hold to us. Uh, wait, hang on. Yeah, if you want to get a hold of me, just at Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm there at Vin on mass.linuxgamecast.com. Come watch this nonsense live. Come to the party. That party starts at 7.30 for patrons, 8.30 on Twitch, and a four-hour rock block. We invite you to come have a little bit of our uh, penguin sexy time. Uh, cell phone, computer, smiley face, Canada flag, at the burning fool, uh, poop emoji, eggplant, sweat, twitch.tv slash burning fool. Okay, hand gesture, um, eggplant. At unaccounted for on Twitter. That, yeah. I'm just gonna some credit. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. That was, in, that was my goal. I succeeded. Good, jo- good job, Jordan. Pat on the back. Good job, Jordan. <laughs> We gotta thank our lovely, lovely party patrons. These are the people who are making this all possible, allowing us to host our own shit and not have to read ad rolls for Schnappy, the alligator who shits leaves. We gotta thank <laughs> Aldius and Barb Ramped and Scott Michaud, Mr. Fox Dog, Arthur and the Atomic Ass, Mike G, Michael T. Han, Drummer, Dark Wing, and the Sea Monsters. We got Jack coming B. in with the Sea Monsters, Jack B, Renault L, Red Rex Machina, Trunk Gills, Vera Tenuta, Justin, and Frosty. Nova K, Basil B, Chad P, Romeo V, Marson K, System T, Craig H, Renee K, Leonardo, DeCresney, Kim, Smashley G, Chris, All one breath, Jill, Pedro. Benjamin, <laughs> Constitute Art, All one breath. <laughs> Simple, <laughs> Jolly M, Linux Tube, Colin T9, Scott, Thomas T, Martin W, Jonas Rulio, Doja, Flownir, Colin, is there again, Zeno, Daniel, Zeno's back, Achilles yes. finally caught that tortoise, baby. Yes. <laughs> and um, it doesn't exist. Library.tv slash at Nick's Disappearment. Run. Doesn't exist. <laughs> or not. Listen, I'm not your terror. Parent, parent terror? Terror boss. Yes. I mean, <laughs> yeah, pa- parent terror, same thing, right? <laughs> Dynavider, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Hail Santa. Goodbye, Bubby. Five dudes.